it's Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with my August layout share. And so I am just gonna flip through and show you some of the things I created this month. I am super excited about many of the layouts that I created. Um, I wish, of course, as always, I wish there were more of them, but it seems like for some reason, August just like flew by. Like I blinked and it was over. I don't know if you feel that way. Leave me a comment if that happened to you too. All right, so I have one Lonely Traveler's Notebook spread and there was a process video for this one and it was for Spiegel Mom Scraps and so if you want to go back and check that out. But I talked about fussy cutting and using unique journaling spots and then lining up our sequins as well as using some cork. And so that was my one Traveler's Notebook spread. And then these are my layouts. This one does not have a process video. Many of you saw the sneak of this when I was stitching it. And this is a layout that I created at the Secret Not Secret Kit Club retreat in California. And so I love taking a stitching project like this on a retreat because it gives me something where I can still talk and chat and interact with everybody, um, but be stitching along as I go. And so this was just a cut file that I traced with a sketch pen instead of cutting it out. And then I just punched holes and got to work. And I created this knowing that I wanted to use this close to my heart uh, pattern paper. This is from their Stargazer kit. And so this very much gave me the inspiration for the colors that I was going to use in my cut file. And so it just says everyday space explorer. And it's just a picture of my son creating one of his school projects. So I'm really, really happy with how that one turned out. I also have this layout from the retreat, which I did not create. Um, so one of the things we did at the retreat is we exchanged a picture and some supplies to various people. Um, we kind of split everybody up into teams. And so this is one of the layouts that my team created. So a bunch of other people created this layout with starting with my photo and this paper and they did all of the rest and I am super ecstatic with how it turned out. And I also wanna go back and do some journaling on the back to tell that story that this is a layout that was created by some of the amazingly talented people that came to my retreat. And so that's that particular layout. This is another one I created at the retreat. So I have some little detail up here. I'm using that same Stargazer collection from Close to My Heart. And this was just kind of telling the story of my son moving over to middle school, having a locker for the first time. And so I love this one too. Super happy with how that one turned out. And then the last one I created at the retreat um, is kind of my daughter's version of that same thing. So moving into her new locker for the beginning of the school year. And I used some really fun Felicity Jane things. I've added some stitching. I've got my little vellum butterflies definitely sequins and some stamping. So lots of fun things going on on that page. I love this particular paper. If you have it to do some tone on tone stamping, just really has a really, really cool look on this type of paper. So that one was really fun. And then some of the other ones I created this month, there is a process video for this one talking about using um, scraps and pattern paper. And this was for a summer scrapping series that my friend Audrey was hosting. And so there's a video if you want to go check that one out. I also created this one for Wild Whisper Designs. This was based on a Laura Whitaker sketch. So if you want to go back and watch that video, you can certainly check out that sketch. And this is using the new One More Chapter collection that is all book related from Wild Whisper Designs. This one was one that I created for our Secret Not Secret Kit Club monthly party. So that's our online crop party. And so we did something called Freaky Friday, where we had to trade styles with a different Kit Club member. And so this is the layout that I created based on another member's layout. And I am super happy with kind of all the bright, fun colors and how that turned out. This is another one from our monthly online party. And so this was for our Grab Five, where we had five items and I used a bunch of Kit Club leftovers from Click Kits. And I love this one too. I love kind of all these really fun details down here underneath my photo. Super fun look. This is another one I did for Wild Whisper Designs called Explore. And we talked about using different heights of embellishments to create really cool dimension and texture. So definitely check out the video if you want to learn more about that. This one was for Ink Road Stamps. 
and it is called Mickey in Paradise, and this was using the Frond of You stamp set. Also super, super, super fun. Lots of great little hidden Mickey details. And I give you some tips for creating these little Mickeys if you go back and check out that video. All right, I also have this, which was for Crafty Chicks. We were focused on unique ideas to use up washi tape. And so this was the layout that I created kind of showing a different way to use up lots of different patterns of washi tape. And there is a video if you wanna check that one out as well. And then I also have this one, which was for Spiegel Mom Scraps, where I was talking about things like stitching through sequins rather than just having them on your layout as a way to add some extra texture and dimension. There is definitely a video for this one. And then hold on one second. I had one other layout that didn't make it into the stack. And here it is. This one was also for Ink Road Stamps. And it is called All the Babies, and it is talking about playing the game of life with my kids and the fact that my son seems to think that he just wants to collect all the babies and have a full car all the time. Um, so it's kind of telling that particular story. And this one is on the Ink Road Stamps blog if you want to check out more information, more details about that layout. And so that is going to do it for everything that I created in the month of August. And I will be back creating again very soon for September. September is a super, super, super busy month. So you're going to see a lot of videos and great content coming on my channel. And so I will see you in the new month. Bye.